Hi guys! Okay, so um, I'm making this video because I know there are a lot of women who don't know how to properly blow dry their hair. And they feel like the only way to straighten it and get rid of the frizz is through flat ironing, flat, basically flat ironing it, and I feel like that kind of fries your hair because <laughs> it's such a high heat temperature. And so um, my hair is very baby fine, so I can't flat iron it. Last time I had it flat ironed once and it took a year to recover. My hair was thin as paper and it just kept breaking off, so I can't flat iron my hair. So there's a way to actually blow dry it so that it's basically just like it's been flat ironed. It's perfectly smooth, straight. It doesn't frizz easily. It's really nice. And I'm going to show you guys basically how to do it. It's really, it's not really hard. Um, but I'm just going to show you some tricks and, you know, with the blow dryer and things like that. So, but basically this video is for women who have like curly hair or kinky hair or hair that frizzes a lot, you know, or who have wavy hair and they want it to not, like, they want to straighten it. So this is what the video is. Um, so I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to use. So I have several little bows, like these. Um, I'm going to use these bows to hold my hair into sections and to separate the hair that I've done from the hair that's still wet. And then I have a small mini mirror. So I have it right here so I can see what I'm doing. So you'll notice me looking like down at something and it's because my mirror is like right here. Um, so just FYI. Okay, and so um, I have my comb. Um, this is my baby right here. This thing works magic. Without it, my hair comes out really kind of damaged looking. This is the Icy Hair Polisher Heat Protector. It's the straightening serum. I have macadamia oil, which I put on my hair already. Um, I didn't put a lot. I don't want to weigh the hair down or make it feel oily, but macadamia oil makes it feel like silk, makes it so soft. So I use that already. And this is my argan oil. I use a ton of this, the Cream of Nature argan oil. Um, when argan oil is mixed with something like this, it's not so oily. It doesn't make your hair flat. So it's really good. I use a ton of it. It's a leave-in conditioner. Okay, and then the magic product is a straightening balm. This is the John Frieda Brilliant Brunette, since I'm a brunette. Um, I just washed my hair, so um, while I was like doing stuff, I left the macadamia oil and the argan oil on my hair. Um, but I'm going to apply this. Um, heat protectant, this is magic. Any heat protectant works. Um, I'm just using the frizzies today, the, frizz the frizzies heat defense. And I'm going to use the John Frieda Full Repair, just for my ends. Um, my ends aren't damaged or anything, but I dyed my hair today <laughs> using henna. So I, I know that dyeing can dry the hair, so that's why I'm using this. But normally I don't use anything else um, other than the, the IC um, heat protectant, the argan oil, and the macadamia oil. <laughs> so, um, And then I have hair gel, which is just for my kitchens here, my roots right there. And then I have two brushes. This is the one I'm going to be blow drying with. A nice big round brush, even though my hair is not that long, but it does um, work magic when it's bigger and it makes it much faster. And this one is for brushing down my kitchens, because it's harder with a bigger brush. So that's basically all this one is for. Uh, so I'll only use it for a second. And then of course my blow dryer, which is right here. Um, any blow dryer is good. Um, I prefer an Ionic blow dryer so I have the ion switch on because it really pushes the product into the hair follicle and stuff so um, you know and then I prefer one with a setting there's cool shot warm and hot I never use hot hot will burn your hair and you actually I've heard of people like burning their skin when they put on hot I'm like oh my god yeah and then a low high setting there's low high setting um, I'm gonna blow dry it on high because it's faster okay so I'm gonna start by showing you guys my hair. This is my hair. It's kind of crazy. Um, so this is what it looks like uh, straight out of the wash. Um, so uh, basically that's it. Um, so I'm going to start. Okay. So I'm going to put on my glasses so I can see really well what I'm doing. And um, I'm going to part it. Uh, well first I'm going to comb it out. You know, and you should always comb your hair from the ends up so you don't, you know, damage it or break off the hair. Um, so I usually do ends up like this, as you can see, kind of what I'm doing. Um, so, and I just kind of brush it. 
comb it. Okay, so, and then once it's all combed out, I'll go from the, to the front. Okay, so now that that's done, I'm gonna actually part my hair. Um, actually, I'm gonna part it here. Because I'm gonna start with the side first. So, yeah, mm, separate. I try to get as much um, blow dried in the front as I can. And then the part that I'm not doing, I'm gonna just put in a band to keep it separate. So I'm going to work on this section right here. Okay, so just make sure it's all nice and combed. Okay, so, oh I forgot something, oh I forgot. The secret product straightening balm. Um, I use about that much. Put it all through the hair. Um, you should put it through after it's been combed out because then it goes to each piece, to strand, which better. Okay, so I'm done with that. Okay. And then I'm gonna use this, just mostly for my ends is what this is for. Um, it's a leave end. Just because, you know, I guess I dyed it today with henna. So I know dyes can tend to dry out the hair. But like I said, this, the secret to basically making the blow dry come out really smooth and sleek is a straightening bowl, a heat protectant, and oil. So, okay, um, I'm gonna add a little bit more of this to the rest of my hair. Because I wanna just make sure that it's not um, from the dye, because dyes can be really strong on the hair. So I just want to make sure it's not, you know, kind of crazy. I'm not use too much of it. You don't really, you know, I didn't use too much of it. My focus was the straightening balm, so I used quite a bit of straightening balm. Okay, so I'm going to part this section again. Like that. Okay. Try to blow dry as much in the front as I can. Um, because it's hard to see the back, and so it's easier to burn the back when you can't see it very well. Okay, so next, I promise this video I won't make it too long. I'm going to apply this, the Heat Protected Straightening Balm. Um, I'll forward, like, after I tell you guys how to basically blow dry it, I'll forward so you guys don't, <laughs> like, have to, you know, watch a really long video. Uh, okay, so make sure you get it on your ends. because your ends can get damaged. And then I'm going to spray on the heat protectant. Just kind of make sure it gets to all of the hair, especially the ends. Okay. So basically these are the only two products I'll be putting on each section. Okay, so the secret to blow drying. Okay, so you want to smooth this out. So you brush it so it's perfectly smooth. Perfectly smooth like that. See how sleek that is? And how shiny? Okay, so okay, now I'm gonna start blow drying it from here first. So that the rest of the hair will straighten out by the time we get to the ends. So the secret to blow drying is you blow dry down like that. Okay? Like that. You don't ever go up because it'll make the hair go upwards and look frizzy and crazy. So you always blow dry on this way and you make sure you Never leave the blow dryer in one place. You have to keep moving it constantly, really fast. Otherwise, it will burn that piece of hair that you leave it on too long. So that's pretty much the secret. <laughs> so, and you try to blow dry as much of it in this direction as you can because you're making the hair go down and sit down. So, and then whatever direction you want to change it later, when it's pretty much almost all the way dry, then you'll flip it over, which I'll show you, and then you just blow dry in that direction. So. Just reach out my hand. 
So you can kind of see how it's shaping out right now. Um, so it's perfectly smoothing out. So let me finish this section up. Okay, now that it's like almost all the way dry, I'm going to brush it again like this. And then I want it to go downwards to shape my face. So I'm going to do it like that. Okay, and I put it on high. Um, but since it's partly almost all the way dry, I'm going to put it on low now. So it's dry. So there you go. Okay, so it doesn't look damaged or anything. It has a nice kind of you know shape to it. Looks shiny. Okay, so I'm gonna take my hair gel. This is the IC hair polisher styling gel. I like this one because it doesn't. A lot of hair gels look black and kind of nasty. <laughs> So um, they start to cake, which I hate, um, and then they look really awkward when they start caking. Um, but I like to do this because it smooths out my kitchens and helps them to grow, while at the same time, it, you know, basically makes my hair look smoother. Um, you know, it makes it just look more tamed. Like, you know, the hairstyle is very put together, you know, and it doesn't make my hair look kinky or anything like that so I like doing it so okay so this is basically the finished product you guys can see it's you know I brushed it out again nice and smooth okay so I'm gonna use one of my hair bows and just keep it away from the rest of the hair since the rest of the hair is not dry so I'm just gonna tie it like that and leave it there okay so now I'm gonna move on to another section of hair Hi guys, okay, so I'm showing you, I think I should show you how to do the sections up here. So I separated the sections and I applied the straightening serum and the thermal protectant, especially focus on the ends. Um, to smooth this out, you go under the hair like that to smooth it out. Okay, and then you go up the front to a couple of times until it's perfectly smooth and brushed out. And then you start to, you know, I roll it all the way like that. So the hair is like sitting on there like that, you know. And then I'm going to start blow drying it. So I just wanted to show you guys that. <laughs> so I'm going to blow dry it on high to kind of um, get it going. So I just wanted to show you how to smooth it. Um, but I'll show you quickly how I'm going to blow dry it. Remember, I'm putting it on high, and then as it starts to dry, I put it on a low setting so I don't burn up the hair and overcook it. And I like to switch hands because it's really hard to blow dry hair like that. So, okay. When the rain falls, it's like Drying, I'm going to move it out some and blow dry it some more. It's like heaven's crying. Making sure that you do your roots is really important to forming it, so blow drying down here is really, really important. Okay, and so the hair feels mostly dry. Smaller sections are better. Yeah, I think the hair is dry now. Um, but I'm going to double make sure by putting it on low and doing the bottom again because it feels a tiny bit moist. The shim basically smooths out the ends. So they don't play. And voila! Okay, so this is what it looks like. All finished. Um, nice and shaped. So, so you brush it out to kind of make it go outwards. See? Um, that's what it looks like. Okay, so I'm gonna do the same thing, put a little bow here, my bow, and just <laughs> keep it separate from the rest of the hair. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys how to do the bangs. Um, they're pretty much the same like the rest of the hair. So, get my poof. <laughs> ok, 
Okay, so I use extra straightening balm, um, not too much because I don't want them to be too oily. But I used to, I like to use, I guess it's more the thermal protectant because I really want them to be shiny, um, shinier than the rest of the hair. So, um, yeah. So I like to use a little extra product than I normally would. Um, just a little, just to give it the extra oomph and shine since it's the first thing that people will see um, if I do sore bangs. So I'm going to use this again. See how it's smoothed out? It was all frizzy and crazy. <laughs> the straightening balm is amazing, the IC one. Um, I had to learn how to blow dry my hair when I went to New York. So uh, yeah, I didn't know until then and it took a lot of trial and error. So Okay, so you roll the hair like this, you know, just to smooth it out and reinforce that shape. of like, you know, the smooth shape without the frizz and stuff. Um, and make sure that when you're blow drying it, you don't pull it too tight, but you pull it um, a little bit taut so that the hair um, shapes is like smooth. Like, see, like I'm not pulling it too tight, but I'm pulling it tight enough that it's smooth and really, you know, it looks really smoothed out. So, kind of like when you use rollers, you they're a little bit tight, but not too tight. Okay, so I'm going to blow dry it on high really quick. both directions um, and I'm gonna hold it uh, it's pretty much dry so I'm gonna put it on low it's all dry um, okay so however you wear your bangs like if you're wanting yourself high you'll do them that way but I'm going to be wearing bangs bangs today <laughs> so I'm going to just blow dry them um, in that direction okay so those are the bangs so next is the last part um, it's going to be the back of the hair so that's what we're doing next so um, I usually separate my bangs with a bobby pin um, to keep them separated from the rest of the hair hi guys okay so I'm going to do the last section of my hair just the back here. Um, so I'm going to add product. Okay, I'm going to separate it into two, like that. I'm going to put a bow around the piece I'm not going to do right now. So I try to put as much hair up front so that, because um, the, the back is really hard, you can't see what you're doing. So, especially focus on your ends. Okay. I don't know if I stress the importance of this, but this thing here is essential for the hair coming out smooth. This little, without it, the hair goes kind of everywhere, and it doesn't come out as smooth looking. I tried it. I had to. I had to do a lot of trial and error <laughs> to get blow drying my hair right to a T. Um, so I'm gonna do the back. I'm gonna show you guys by turning around how I do it. Um, so, but it's a little tricky. So try to get as much hair up here as you can, so you don't have to worry about the back. Cause the back can get more damaged because you know you can't see it. Okay, so I'm gonna start. Okay, so it's pretty much dry, so I'm just going to brush it down like this, it's dry, and just make sure it takes the shape, so I'm just going to blow dry it on low for a moment. Okay, so that section is done, 
so I'm going to do the last section and that's it. Hi everyone, okay, so I'm all finished. Um, I did every section. So I'm going to take it down so you can see the finished product. Looks so crazy now that I blow dried it. Okay. Okay, so this is the finished product. Um, this is what it looks like. so you guys can see it. Uh, also, after I finish blow drying it, I like to put it on cool because it releases the hair. So I do a cool shot to it to release the hair. So I'm going to do it quick. I put it on high usually. So I like to test it on my hand first to make sure it's cool because I don't want it to burn my hair. So, okay, so I'm basically done, you guys. So this is how it came out. It's nice and thick and, and stuff like that. Um, so, you know, like, um, so, yeah, that's how you blow dry it. It's really, it's not that hard. It's just a matter of making sure you keep moving the bow dryer at all times so you don't burn any hair and damage it and yeah because it's gonna look damaged when it's damaged um, so yeah that's it um, usually I just tie my hair up in like a protective style you know I like to comb it with my fingers um, so it won't feel oily if you didn't overdo it on the oil. Um, so, and I like to just kind of leave it loose so I don't tie it really tight. Okay, so this is what it looks like all finished. Um, you know, and I usually blow dry my bang, like use hairspray on my bangs. So, yep. So that's how you blow dry curly or frizzy hair or kinky hair. It's really easy. Um, it's just a matter of keeping the blow dryer going. <laughs> so that's it. Um, so I'll take a picture so you guys can see it closer and that's it. Thanks for watching.